Oh, what's crack a lacking, everybody? Um, we are playing on Mother's Day. I have my little Scottish profile picture up there, too. Um, yeah, this thing um, takes... I have about 10% about hit rate every time I start this on Xbox. Cloud Gaming, I have the... Um, I have the app on, on Windows 10, so it's just... Uh, yeah, every time I start this thing, sometimes it'll load my data, sometimes it won't, which we... So if it doesn't load my data, I can't load my franchise, which kind of sucks. But we are good right now, so essentially I just got to keep this thing on for hours. So that's a big pain in the butt, too. Anyway, so we got draft day in 24 days, so that's good. But we're going to play the Red Sox once again, uh, and because this is Mother's Day. So we should have a pretty good day. Let's see. What do we'll, we'll do our alternative ones here on Mother Day. Mother's Day. How about that? Well, no, do alternative two. A little bit brighter. How about that? We're here at Oreo Park. It'll be clear skies today. And we're on the MLB network. Lopez again will be taking the hill. He got rocked his last time out that you saw against the Norfolk Tides. Um, well, not his last time out, uh, but uh, that was one of his bad games. We're going against Pavetta. Um, Galvis is tired. Hmm. Richie Martin and bring Diaz in. Mount Castle's playing third base because Franco is hurt. Put Valenco there. And we'll see if that works. Uh, Boston's not doing so good either. See, we used to be tops and almost home runs and everything but we have slipped big time um, we're still yeah we're still not very good in oh, on base percentage and our ERA is oh, 27th it's time for baseball on MLB Network lots of pink all around for this Mother's Day matchup between the Boston Red Sox and the Baltimore Orioles Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this What kind of dance was that? Jorge Lopez will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, listen, you don't have to know much about statistics to know that this is a bad one. How about this guy on the year as a starting pitcher? Left-handers are hitting over 300 against this guy. He's going to have to change something or he won't be pitching very long in this league. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. Verdugo. And we are ready for some daytime field. baseball. Alex First pitch of the AB on its way. Whoa. Watch out, third base. First pitch, 106. Oh, one pitch on its way. Well, guys, these Orioles entering play today. It was another loss for them last time out, and that makes them 2-8 and eight over their last 10 games. Yeah, Matty, this team has taken it on the chin the first two games of this series, getting blown out in each game. They need a better effort in this one. No doubt about it. I think things haven't gone their way, and this is the time to turn things around now, Dero. It's been an ugly series up to this point, and they need to turn it around pronto today. Now the 2-1 takes a pass and misses that strike two. The right. offensive game plan today is certainly to see the ball up. This guy is known on the mound for sinker changeup combination. He's going to try and establish down in the zone to get swing and a miss or ground balls consistently. You have to find something above the belt to get loose on. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Nero, how do they lock up a series victory here on the road? Yeah, Maddie, this lineup is an interesting case study. 
because if you're not a big believer in batting average, this team, they're in the bottom third of batting average, so they have to do it a little bit differently. They have to move traffic and drive the baseball out of the ballpark and into the gaps. We've seen that be successful before. Let's see if it happens again today. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Danny, Danny Santana comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. <clears throat> Rolled slowly down the first baseline. And they'll just tag him out along the first baseline. Sometimes for a first baseman, the best thing you do is just go ahead and tag the guy like that. Hey, there's a lot more that could go wrong when you try to throw to the pitcher or the second baseman covering. Here's Xander Bogarts now. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Now the pitch. And Ooh, this pitch is taken on the other half for strike down one. The middle. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. One and two now as that one's fouled off. All He's right, gone so to the Lopez well with that pitch three times so in a far. row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. See if we can get a change up in the inside. Swing that was and a not liner inside. toward the gap in left center. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he will pull into second with a two out double. No, not That's inside. a pitch he'll look That's back on and relive tonight when he's lying very good in bed. Of his a pitch away Jeez. from posting a zero <coughs> in the first, and he makes a big mistake, and he pays the price. So now he's got to work on leaving him out there at second base. All right. No, we're not doing sinker, sinker, sinker. I got to work and on my that'll change bring up here. JD so we're doing the change up. There we go. Rounds one briskly to short. Scoop All right, up. Martin. And nothing will come of the two out double nice. as the inning is over. Not a lot of pitches so wasted either. So can't make anything out of the two out double. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on MLB Network. Nick Pavetta gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been pretty good his last three starts. A whip under 1.20, so he minimizes the amount of base runners. He's a tough customer. It'll be fun to watch him to see if he's on point early in this one here today. Striding in is Austin Hayes. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here's a knuckle curve that backs him up a bit. Ball one. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. They come in playing well. Six and three over the last nine ball games, including a victory last time out. Yeah, Matty B, they've come out guns a-blazing so far in this series. Won the first two games of this series in blowout fashion. Nothing they'd like more than to win game three of this series and continue their hot winning ways. Yeah, Dan, there's been a fight at the bat rack. They have really come alive on the offensive side. I look should have to swung at that, that one. Today. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' leadoff hitter. Three and one. Lifetime against this pitcher. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. The whole thing is to see more pitches here. A full count now for the Orioles center fielder. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Man, that's just that painful for a pitcher the right there. Basement. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Valaika as he'll take a look at ball one. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. The last time we had Balaika, he, uh, he had four strikeouts in a game. Oh. Waved at and missed as he took something off there. Mm -hmm. One and one. Thought that was going to be Great a fastball higher. Great pitch in that higher. situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Throw over to first. Hey. All right. He's almost got picked off there, so let's not do that again. 
He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And he misses 2 and 1. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Throw over to the bag and a all dive, right. but he's I, back I in there. I definitely cannot leave at all. He is, he is going to do that all the time. Just behind the fastball oh. there, two strikes now. Come on, Valika. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Strike oh, taken no. the throw. Is there and he's out trying to strike out second. throw out might have been trying to avoid the double play ball by putting the runner in motion but that ended up just causing a different kind of double play the strike him out throw him out kind not how the offense drew that one up uh, and so the only really good with two gone now and that threat I got the here hitting outfielder Mancini. Trey Mancini coming back and a ball one and oh well, he cancer. punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. Bases are empty here with two men out. A bouncer to the left side. Yeah. Bogarts has it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Bad decisions Nothing by the Orioles once again. The we are still scoreless. Second inning set to go, Leading and that brings up the third baseman, the third Rafael baseman. Devers. Rafael Devers. Right, Devers got a good OPS. He's got some home runs on his ledger. So, definitely doing better than last time He's we ready. saw him. Here's the first pitch. 0 oh, and 1 the count. Don't like that. Hey, that's a good sinker right there. No. That's his bread and butter pitch, and if he's got that going, especially early, it's going to be tough to get some runs off him. 1 and 1. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Working the plate is Larry Bullard. Hey, behind the dish, D Row, Larry Bullard. Pretty standard guy, works it. The only problem is that I think at times hitters have a little bit difficult time. He'll give a little bit on that inside corner and outside corner. Not very consistent. Yeah, but Larry's approachable. That's the one thing. If you turn around and say, is that as far as you're going on the outer half, he's usually going to tell you. Here comes the one two. He is swung gotcha. on and missed. He got All right. it. The so Lopez really does well against Devers. For the strike out there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone to protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. To the plate now, Hunter Renfro, as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Well, I mean, in today's game, that OPS is all, a shot all they down really the care first about. Baseline, so but that 225 a foul average ball, one and one. wouldn't be like any kind of detriment. Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, nice. and there are two away. Mount Castle, that is not his. Well, that, I think that was his position coming up in the minors, actually. Third base. But he wasn't very good, so they put him to first base. And now with Mancini, they put him out in the outfield where he's not very good. So. That'll bring up Bobby Dahlbeck. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. 2 and 0 oh now. Boy. And how about the uncommon patience for the rookie in a big spot right here? These have been some tough pitches to lay off. Down low, and the plot oh, thickens on, here. Now. Three and O. Oh. Yeah, he's all over the place right now. No doubt, he's clearly fighting his mechanics. And that misses yeah. as well. Ball four, so it's a four-pitch walk here. Well, they were obviously pitching around him there, and I don't blame them. With the bases the empty and two outs and a hitter of this caliber at the plate, Make somebody else beat you. Uh, well, Vasquez, so next to hit is Christian that. Vasquez. He's two for seven in the series so far. 
You're calling a horrible game behind the plate. First there, pitch Severino. coming. I'm, here I'm it is. throwing a fastball. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking Lopez. the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners don't, if don't you're not argue, throwing Lopez. strikes consistently. Your mother wouldn't like it. It's Mother's Day. The one and no delivery. Oh. Oof. Can't get him to chase. The sinker. There we go. Dahlbeck leads off first there with a go. pair now of you're getting, in the inning. Now you're getting what I'm putting down. Sinker change up. That's what we want to do. All even now, two and two. No, not a curveball outside. I want to do a change up. Has outside. a look. Now the pitch. Ooh. And that did not. Boy, come on, Lopez. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works Dude. the count back full. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And he fouls this one off. Weak rounder back to the mound. Got him. And as it turns oh, out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the go. inning. So no runs, Wait no hits, Ripken. no errors, and one man left on. Right, on now eight, to the eight, bottom yeah. of the second, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Nothing. That's Cal Ripken. Greatest Oreo ever. Bottom of the inning now. Chris and here Davis. comes the first baseman, Chris Davis. Not doing Not bad. 263 with three homers. I... He's probably striking out quite a few times. We'll look at it after the game. But infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. A called strike to the 35-year-old veteran. Nothing in one. 298. Still at 298. Here's the pitch. I don't know if it's. Oh, that oh. looks like a visit to the video room may be in order after that hack. Come it's 0-2 on, now. Ooh, wee, that was an ugly swing. Yeah, I'm sure he's not going to watch ugly. that one on replay after the game. Uh, they really bunch Ouch. him up on that one as he swings and misses I got for my the own first down. There. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. The classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. That'll bring up Ryan Mountcastle. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Yeah, he's He'll let her play here with that average down in the low 200s. Two home runs and six RBIs. Uh, I may have to make a decision. A little bouncer. I may have to make a decision to send him down maybe if he keeps on continuing to struggle like this. A oh. ball and two strikes. I'm going to need to see a better really game plan to, out of the hitter right here. That ball was at Orioles. his eyes. I don't have anybody really to replace him with. Lifted into the air to shallow yeah. center. Santana trying to get there. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Yuzniel Diaz is the next to bat. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. He'll just try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. That's his first career home run, I believe. Actually, can I look? Yeah, well, we'll look later. But uh, he he was the... And he uh, takes strike two. He was one of the keys, I get it. He I wants to see this guy's repertoire, but Machado. now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot not, to hit. He just has not done anything. 0-2 oh, is a fastball that misses inside. One well, and two now. He got now. called up because Franco's hurt, so... Gets a little cup of coffee here, see... 
Waved at and uh, missed for the third out. Yeah. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Yeah, look Nothing at that little kid. That little kid is half. just sitting there going, we dude, really, why do I root, why do I root for this team? I could be a Yankees fan. So now to the plate, Nick Pavetta. Wow, As look at Pavetta. We are all set to begin the third inning in this one. 556, nice. Pavetta. Here's the first pitch to him. But how about I that love curveball? everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's nope. got presence. He's got great nope. body Change language nope. on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The center and with one away, nine. time for a check of the Alex standings in the American Lugo. League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves yeah, entering the play. I don't see the Yankees being that bad all year. Alex Verdugo they face digging us a lot. in now. Over <laughs> one here in the early going. Although we've given them fits. Just like real life, I think. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. That is exactly where I want you to throw that, Lopez. Exactly. Comes set with the 0 1. There we go. I want to dance outside, I want to dance inside. There you go, Severino. This is exactly what I want. Change up slider. Change up or change up sinker. Change up sinker. That's what Lopez has to do. And every once in a while, we'll throw a curveball in there. Oh. Good job to work the count and put himself oh, back in the driver's my goodness. seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. The three one. Come on. A swing and there a miss, and that'll fill the count at three and two. Hey, there All was right. great arm so action yeah. on that 3 1 change. Right. Up we are right really here. on He's got this here. guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full oh, count. Do you sit change it. up or do you stay with the heater? And this misses for ball four. The second the walk he surrendered two. here in the first second three base. innings. I know one thing. He earned Same. that free pass right there. He did. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Stepping up is Danny Santana, grounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to oh, find that release on. point with his off-speed pitches. We'll have to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. 2-0 count. The pitch hit on the ground down the first baseline. Davis has it. Uh, the throw no. pulls him off the bag. Whoa. Davis. Well, it's really hard to complain about this one because that's one of the hardest double plays to turn. The first baseman has to deal with the runner headed to second, and he sometimes oh. shields you from throwing where you want to make the and throw. What they the hell was that it, lollipop? That's a tough play all the oh, way around. no. All right. We got a timeout. 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 What the hell, guys? Oh, boy. Now the whole defense shifts to the left side, overloading where they expect this hitter to go with the ball. Come we'll on. see if he can avoid the shift and maybe take advantage of an open field. No balls and a strike to count. The 0-1 pitch. Swing and he takes this thing Damn on the it. way to right. And that and gets that's down exactly. as he can't get there in time. Verdugo is on his way home. Oh my God, look at these guys. On to third, but he's in Triple. safely as they take the lead with two runs scoring oh, on the play. A minute ago, this Eagles thing was tied up, and but when he, you're he went right against the shift. You're not going to be smart close ball for player. too long. Now Xander with two Bogart's run lead, a very and a base hit away player. from making it three. And look at this guy lollipopping. That's my favorite word today, lolly, lollygagging. What? I was trying to use an army term. Vet, veterans Day. Hey, Veterans Day. Here's J.D. Martinez as the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. They've got two already home in the inning and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Two balls and no strikes now to the Red Sox left fielder. 
runner on third sack fly situation right two pitchers down really oh, good man. job of patience trying to get a pitch that he can lift into the air to drive that runner home. Rafael oh, Devers. crying out loud. Okay. And he misses with one here. It's ball four. So that'll at least bring the double play into the conversation Not with bad. runners at the corners and one away. What's the saying? Uh, when Devers. you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. All right. Hold on. So defensive positioning. Well, the manager has signaled both the infielders and the outfield to shift hard to the right. Up there. Let's see if this guy at the plate can beat the shift. Rely on your defense. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Rafael Devers is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's 1-0. Hey, this is a spot as a pitcher right now. You want to get a little bit greedy. Ideal would be to roll up a two ball. At worst, try to get yourself a strikeout. The one and no delivery. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Swing and a miss, two and one. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. There we and go. he just Back gets a piece two. there as this is chopped foul. Nope. I'm going to do a fastball inside. The 2-2. Two -two. Oh, and that was a mistake. Bob, Bob, Booey. And wow, that got Bob out Bob onto Bowie. Utah Street. Good Lord. Ah. And sorry, Severino, you were right. I was wrong. Down the line and right. Seven home runs for him on the year now. As the Red Sox break on top now, five to nothing. Our pitching is horrible. Hey, that's the price Outside you pay of John right there when you try and sneak a fastball Which past is just this like guy, in real life. Hitter. So, yeah, and once again, guys, we're going to have a very short video Uno, here just showing one, these man. highlights. You get on the heater and adjust that to everything a, else. That was, and he did just broke that. a window. All right. All right, Severino, I'm not going to overrule it. At the plate, Hunter Renfro. High and deep down the left field line. Although that one. And this will wind up a foul ball. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Popped him up. He has a very Malika on to the it, grass. Malika. He gets there, and that's the second out. He has a very good two innings, and then the third inning, he, Lopez back. just melts down. Base Bases are empty here with Bobby. two away. Maybe a good and reliever. that'll bring up that. Bobby Dahlbeck. Now the first pitch. And this one's nowhere well, close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take Ooh. a deep breath, something. Can't right keep one. falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Come on, get the change up. Tried to mm. shoot the corner, and he missed it. Two oh. and two. Coming up now on 30 pitches in the inning. And this is swung right. on and missed as the 30th pitch of this inning finally does the trick. The side is retired. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run home run. Bottom of the third coming up. It's the Red Sox five and the Orioles oh, nothing. No, that fastball really got away from him there. That's kind of a red flag for me that he's starting to tire or wear down a little bit. The first thing that goes is location and then your mechanics. We'll see if this continues. Inside, he misses ball four. Now batting left fielder, J.D. Martinez. Next up for the Red Sox, J.D. Martinez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Drops in a strike to start the at bat, nothing and one. 
And he Ooh. takes a pitch right down the middle. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit. But unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. One there. There we on go. The first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Red Sox go down quietly, but they hold a 5 nothing lead. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Is he praying? Reading off. For the Orioles, the third baseman, Ryan First offering, Ryan Mountcastle is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Swing, high drive, Come on. left field and deep. Back goes Martinez. Yes! And this Mount one is Castle. gone. A home run. He hung that one. Solo shot here to left. Third home run for him on the year. As they get on the scoreboard here, it's 5-1. to one. Well, they're still down, but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team. Give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets them going. Three seventy? Is that really three seventy? Standing in now, use Neil Diaz. As the first all back, he struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Changeup laid off down oh, around yeah, the it shins. Is a okay. We're in the sixth inning now of a five to one ball game. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. Swing, and he launches no, this no, one no, to no, deep no. left no. field. No, no, no. moving back. The track ah. and it's gone as they add still another. Jeez, my every time I bring a reliever in. A solo shot here to left. Home run number five on the year, and it's now a six to one ball game. I know height sights 2020, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, know. he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from uh, that mistake. How close was he? Uh, he no, no. Yeah, it was two rows back. Now back. Into the box now, the Christian Vasquez. Christian. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. Lifetime against this particular arm. He's one for three. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. He's under it, and that ends the inning. <sighs> And we had to keep it closer Red than that. Red Sox are on the board thanks to the solo home run. Bottom of the sixth coming up. It's now 6-1 to one Boston. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. 3-2 pitch and he lays nope. off there ball four so back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out well it's obvious that earlier home run he gave up is still on his mind he had him three and two but he didn't want to give him anything over the heart of the plate to hit so we'll see if that walk comes back to hurt him Danny Santana stands in as he looks at ball one here when you're hitting in a situation like this you have to find a way to slow your heart rate down the pitchers the one with all the pressure 
You're looking to keyhole something middle of the plate and drive some runs in. There's a strike. It's two and one. I'm not going to lie. I thought he lost it right there. He had no feel for the baseball, missing wildly several balls in a row, but able to attack the zone right now. Let's see if he gets back into it. Up next for the Red At the plate now is Xander Bogarts. He got under one and popped out his last time up. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 0. Oh. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gone! Oh my it's God. A grand slam! Wow. So he promptly unloads the bases with that one. Seven home runs for him on the year now as this lead got even wider. And that is why you just can't put yourself in a bases loaded situation. You've got nowhere to put the hitter and he knows it. So he sets up waiting to pounce. And that's exactly what velocity. he does. Jumping all over this thing for a grand slam. All right. The left fielder. Travis Lakins comes on to pitch now hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one into the box now J.D. Martinez as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty it's strike one he's hitless in three at bats to this point And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0-2. Well executed fastball right at the knees. Going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. That misses 1-2. One and two. Good job. All right. Still only one out in the inning. Hit softly on the ground to third. Fielded cleanly. On to Davis at first. And there are two away. Here now is Rafael Devers. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. The white field to the plate now. Hunter Renfro as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. And it's fouled away. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing and he's down one and two. Man, I know this feeling, how frustrated this hitter is right now. We used to have a saying in the dugout, don't be that guy. When everybody's getting hits, don't be the guy that takes the over. But you got to zone up. You can't be chasing. Long run for the right fielder. Oh, He's got you. it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Nine men come to the plate, however. Five of them score. Wow. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order due up. It's the Red Sox 11 and the Orioles 1. So disappointing. Matt Barnes enters the game from the pen, and because this is a non-save situation, it's evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yep. Yeah, and this is I was all about have... just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so Leading they're just off. hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the, the chance to pitch field. in a real game okay. situation here. Hey. Here's the first pitch to him. Austin Hayes is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning 1 and 0. Usually on these kind of games. Fouled away. Closers blow up. That's how their ERA You're lucky gets blown if you up. Get one pitcher night right down the situation. middle cannot be late on that fastball. Cuz they try different locations uh, one, and pitches. One. Manager still doing good in Seattle. This is lifted out to left. Martinez has a read on it. Makes the play one away. <sighs> Up next for the Orioles, the second baseman, 
Now to bat, Pat Valaika. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, yeah, he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way oh, to boy. make this pitcher work a little bit harder. One out, nobody on. Fouled off. Too high, man. Too high. Why am I chasing those? On its way, the 0-2 pitch. And a good two-strike pitch, but he misses high one and two. Man, that's a good take there on that 0-2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. No, he doesn't. The 1-2 is swung on and missed strike ah. three. I think that's one of the toughest calls for an umpire to make. The check swing Story. appeal, hitters rarely feel no like they field. went, and I don't think he likes right. getting rung up there by the first that's base umpire. Easy. But yeah, man, looking at it, two it's hard this to say for really sure for that he today. didn't go around. He's set. Here it comes. Trey Mancini is in with two away now as Whoa. he looks at a called strike one. Umpire's trying to get to a dinner date. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Baltimore down to their final strike. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Not your normal put-away pitch. A two-strike fastball down in the zone, but he was able to get wood on it and foul it away. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's one and two. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Throw on to first, and the Red Sox have taken the first yeah. three games in this four-game set. Us. They'll look to sweep tomorrow as the ball game is over. No, wait. 11 to one oh, we're going against it's a four game, huh? Put on a real offensive show with 11 runs on the board. Nick Pavetta gets the win on the mound, his first of the year, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Oh, I think Bogarts was a single away from the cycle. He had a triple double. He had, what was his RBI? Three for four, yep, he, he missed it by a single. He had six RBI, so a homer, triple, and a double. Good going for Bogarts. Great player. I wish they, I wish Boston did keep uh, Mookie Betts, though. That would have... I really think that would have worked for him this year. Who did they get for Mookie Betts? I don't think they got anybody really good. here this afternoon. And All right, so I will, let's see. Home safely. So what we'll do here. Is I will, oh, what reward did I get? Nothing? Okay. Uh, we will go to. I think the next game we'll play is. Minnesota come to town and that'll be a Memorial Day um, I don't want to play the Expos until hmm until we go at Montreal because I want to show you the Olympic Stadium there uh, oh no here we go so we do have at Montreal so we'll play that game too depending on who pitches. I don't want to pitch with Lopez again. Um, but yeah, we have a four game set with Boston. So we'll, I'll, we'll come back um, on the, on the 30th. We'll see exactly like who's doing well, who's doing bad, who, um, and we'll get ready for the draft, I guess.
draft should be the beginning of uh, June. And then uh, we'll go from there.